हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू डेवलपर्स एंड कोडर्स क्लब एन आई टी अगरतला यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी विल डिस्कस कोड प्रोसेस राउंड नाइन सेवन वन डिविजन टू फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम डीज प्रोडक्ट सो लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट सो यू आर गिवेन इन एरे एंड यू कैन परफॉर्म फॉलोइंग ऑपरेशन लाइक इफ द एलिमेंट ऑफ द एरे इज पॉजिटिव यू कैन रिप्लेस इट विथ एनी इंटीजर्स विथ जीरो टू दैट एलिमेंट ए आई ओके and if the element is negative then you can replace that element with any integer in from ai to 0 so uh, here we have given that r is the minimum possible product of all ai after performing the operation any number of times so we have to print the minimum number of operation required and uh, we also have to print like which element uh, we have how many minimum operation we have done and which element we have changed to which uh, element so let's take a look at the input first we have input of p test cases then n size of the array then uh, elements of the array so here we have some test cases then let's see now for this problem for this example i have examples for this example you can see product is equals to 0 so the minimum pro, uh, product what is going to be that is going to be 0 only like if i change it to any of the number the product is going to be 0 only so that is the minimum okay in this we will have some positive value so what we can do is we can replace this 12 to 0 so we will have r minimum product as 0 In this example, the product initially will be uh, for twenty four minus twenty four. So if I replace the minimum, what I can do is like I can change it to zero or anything. So zero is greater than minus twenty four. So minimum R value will be minus twenty four only. And in this case, there is one zero minimum value will be zero only because I can basically convert into zero. Then also R will be zero. Or like that okay so in both this case r is equals to 0 in this case is so what we basically observe here is if the product is equal, what like what my initial thought was if the product is 0 or positive then we'll simply uh, product is 0 or negative okay that is this case uh, product is 0 or product is negative then we'll print z then we'll require zero operation then we'll print zero okay and if product is positive then we'll require one operation and we'll change any number let's say first number to zero but this is uh, this won't get accepted because uh, what we have given here is it's important to note here is this this okay uh, so let's say if i have an element as 10 to the power 9 my first element is 10 to the power 9 and uh, second element is also something about 10 to the power 8 third element is 10 to the power 7 so r will be such a greater value so which is which won't be efficient okay it won't be able to store and uh, give us error so that a uh, product uh, product value won't work our solution won't work so what we will do here is Okay. So what we will do is we will see whether zero is present or not. If zero is present, we'll simply print zero. Okay, we'll simply see out zero. If zero is not present, not present, then what we will do? We'll count number of negative. How many negative numbers are there? if negative numbers are in even like so the product will be positive only so in that case what we are going to print uh, we can minimum operation we can do is one that is we will convert let's say first element to zero and if i have a negative number as odd so product will be odd okay for example minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 and 1 here negative number are odd so product will be Or negative only. So in that case, we will, our minimum R will be negative only. So we'll print that 
minimum uh, we won't require any op operation so we'll print zero only so let's take a look at the code and uh, also to note that here we have given that we can print if there are many solution we can print any of them okay so uh, we have taken in t while and then uh, we will take input of n array n array of size n we have two counter negative for negative and for zero we'll take the input of the elements if element is negative we'll increase our counter negative and if element is zero we'll increase our counter zero if zero uh, if zero is a positive number like uh, counter is going to increase only or it will be zero so, if it's, so we'll simply print zero if zero is present if zero is not present then we'll see if negative number are present in e1 we'll print uh, we'll print this that is product will be uh, even only and in other case we'll print this okay this uh, won't match with the last one okay but as mentioned many solution can be there so it will get accepted so that's it thank you